It's your first day of college. You walk up to the gates and you are ready to embark a journey of self-discovery, trying to figure out who you want to become and what you want to do for the rest of your life. There's a small problem with this, however. How are you going to pay for it? Well, in my high school, there was a scholarship opportunity that gave students the uh, ability to receive a full tuition scholarship to the college of their choosing, as well as a $300 stipend for books. This was known as the Bright Futures Scholarship Program. And what it entails is that by meeting a certain select number of criteria, you are able to receive different scholarships based on the minimum of criteria that you met. As Stephen Hackard put it in an article that he wrote on the Bright Future Scholarship Program, this scholarship uh, not only gives students the ability to receive a full tuition to schooling, but it also pushes them to participate more in their classes as well as receive higher grades in their classes. Now, for the criteria, you need to meet a minimum requirement of service hours, you need to have a minimum GPA, and you need to either complete the SAT or ACT minimum scores or complete a set number of Cambridge courses. So the first one, the service hours, is one of the easier ones in my opinion. Each bracket has a different set number of hours that you need to complete. For instance, the highest scholarship available you need a minimum of 100 hours. Now it seems like a lot, but when you get into something that you really enjoy and start giving back to the community, the hours start racking up and that 100 hour mark doesn't seem so far away after a while. The second criteria is the GPA. Now this is one of the ones that are a little bit harder to maintain because it does depend on how well you are at school. On the UCF website, there is a page dedicated to the Bright Future Scholarship Program. And what it does is it shows the two most important scholarships available in the Bright Future Scholarship Program and says what minimum GPA you need for each scholarship. For the highest one, you need to have a minimum of a 3.0 average. The second one, which doesn't give you a full tuition scholarship, but instead pays for 70% of this uh, tuition, you need to have a minimum of a 2.75. The last criteria you need to meet is the SAT, ACT scores or the Cambridge uh, classes. So, I do not recommend the SAT or ACT scores because every so often they do increase the minimum score for each of the tests and it can be a little challenging. Not everyone is good under pressure on tests. I recommend more the Cambridge classes. Now what these are, these are college level classes that are put into the high school setting. By completing these classes as well as the tests that come with it, you receive a credit called the Cambridge credits, in which by collecting seven of these credits, you're able to receive the ACE diploma, in which it bypasses that SAT and ACT score, allowing you to receive the opportunity to get that Bright Future Scholarship. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be easy. This is going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort. But by completing the service hours, by getting that minimum GPA, and by doing the Cambridge courses, not only will you get a full tuition scholarship, but you'll also have a better time in college.